on a recent trip to Ghana, former Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley received a donation of yam crops. In February, a portion of these were planted in Chagaramas, and on Tuesday, it was to Bego Stern. Cardi Executive Director Ansari Hussain explained that the yam planting project is a scientific study to compare the performance of five varieties of yam from Ghana. We're going to measure the dry matter content. We're going to measure something what we call the harvest index, which is the tuber weight over the total biomass. We're going to calculate all that. We're going to collect data on the environment, on the soil, soil moisture, fertilizer, fertilizer application, whether or not these yams succumb to any pests and disease in the Caribbean. Remember, these are new varieties in the Caribbean. And then we'll do the data analysis. Secretary of Community Development, Joel Sampson, said the THA supports the project as it will equip farmers with tools and resources to improve agricultural productivity in Tobago. This collaboration with CARDI to establish a yam germplasm bank in Tobago truly highlights the importance of global cultural exchange and marks an exciting opportunity for our, our agricultural sector. Minister in the office of the Prime Minister, Ayanna Webster-Roy, said she advocated for the crop production exercise to be conducted in Goodwood. She said the project will be particularly beneficial since the development of a yam festival in the village. In my discussions with Prime Minister and even Dr. D John Allen, it wasn't just about producing food. It wasn't just about planting some yam and then harvesting it. It was about reigniting a sense of pride in the people of Goodwood, a sense of pride in the New Yam Festival, and all the potential it has to bring not only economic development to our community. Special advisor Dr. John Allen explained that the plans will be monitored over a nine-month period. Community representatives in attendance were challenged to develop an attractive and grand festival at harvesting time to celebrate the yam. Carissa Douglas, TTT News.